Chromium, it's a transition metal. It can occur in two states, chromium-6 and chromium-3. Chromium-3, if you ever buy multivitamins, you'll see chromium on the list. However, chromium-6, the hexavalent form, is a carcinogen. It can cause ovarian cancer and various other cancers. Um, usually in nature, it's found in its chromium-3 state. In industrial processes, sometimes it's turned into its plus-6 state it usually comes from industrial activity so it's used in the manufacture of stainless steel and leather tanning i'm looking at chromium removal using toothpaste biochar biochar essentially it's agricultural waste material that uh, you pyrolyze you heat it up at a high temperature with limited oxygen so it doesn't burn it turns into charcoal you could use it as a permeable reactive barrier as in digging a trench out just filling it with biochar and if the groundwater is contaminated it's going to flow through that barrier it's like an in-situ filter i used the uh, bio xas imaging and that was important because we wanted to know what was actually happening between the actual chromium and the biochar. Because in the starting solution, it's all chromium-6. So ideally, you want to stabilize it into the chromium-3 uh, state. So the only way we could determine if it's chromium-6 or 3 was bio-XAS. So we were happy to see that the majority of what we were finding on the actual biochar grains was chromium-3 and not chromium-6.